Good afternoon, welcome back to the One Marine channel and in today's video we're going to show you around this beautiful one owner 2010 Princess 50 Mark III. It's important to mention the Mark III and let's go and see why this boat's just so special. So first things first, let's step on board and straight away it's super easy to do. I can step onto the teak there, away it curls around the back of the boat, super easy access. And you can see here we're starboard side too, so you've got good side access both port and starboard. Now this boat doesn't have a tender included in the price, it's never had a tender fitted. It does have the locating brackets for the tender chocks. You've got this really useful grab rail, so if you're operating on the stern here, you can hang on to this, it's really nice. And behind me here you've got some fender storage here. I've left the camera covers up today because you'll see some of our aerial drone shots which we'll be cutting to in this video. We did that a few months ago, we had some fantastic weather. Today we're dodging the showers a bit, so we're leaving the back cover on just to not get the boat wet. You can see with that back cover on, it's in good condition, you've got great visibility and, and, and light there into that aft cockpit, so it's, it's a nice space to be. As you'd expect on a boat like this, you've got a transom shower. Okay, so you've got the stainless steel transom gate coming into the aft cockpit, super easy and safe as well. I've got dogs or children on board, and that just locks over. And once you're in the space, as I mentioned, with the rear covers on, it's really warm in here. I take this coat off, it's that time of year where you're hot and cold. But it's a great space, lots of light, lots of room as well. So you can see you've got very princess layout in here. You've got the stairs behind me, again, with all the beautiful stainless work, as you'd expect. You've got some storage underneath the stairs here, wash bucket and bits and pieces. And then you've got access in here into the engine room. And you might spy as well, you've got this lift up hatch here which could be a crew cab, but on this boat it's fitted out as just a huge storage area. So in there we've got all of the upholstery, which I have to say is all in very good condition. In there as well, we've also got the aircon chillers. So it's remote aircon chillers. The boat's got air conditioning, obviously. So that's quite nice. So you're keeping that noisy equipment away from the living accommodation, which is again, really nice. Also down there, you've got access to the rudder stocks um, and things like that. So all quite a usable space. You can imagine here, obviously you'd probably have a table. Now the owner of this boat's never had a table fitted here permanently or a, a portable table but it would be very easy to have a nice teak table out here and a couple of director's chairs. I've got good head height um, which is nice and also the from a practicality perspective the working gear here the cleats is nicely located and I do also like these stainless steel plates underneath the cleats it just gives you that bit of extra protection against any rubbing you might get on the gel coat. The boat we haven't done any cleaning on this boat today before today's video so it's always been maintained and looked after by the same company in here in Torquay. There's actually two people that do the washing and the maintenance, two separate companies. But it's quite nice to have, I think, that continuity on something from day one. But it's always been presented nicely. It's always clean. It's always tidy when we come on. So if you're used to Princess Quality, you're gonna understand this. But if you're not, what I love on this is this triple piece door. So we've got these huge sections here, which move back. Once that's open, excuse the bangs, you have this brilliant access into this saloon and you've really got this outside inside feel. Coming inside the boat, hopefully you'll get a sense of just how immaculate this boat is. It's very rare that we get a boat at this age that feels this unused. You've got to sort of see it, I think, to believe it. The leather is like new, you know, it's, it's barely been sat on. I mean, I don't think the boat's probably ever been slept on more than a couple of nights ever because the owner had a property here in Torquay, so they didn't really need to stay on, boat, on the boat. I think the light wood in here actually makes the boat feel very, even lighter, even more airy. If you've been looking at 54s against 50s, which is often a common thing we find when people have been looking at these two models, you'll find this boat, yes, it's slightly shorter here in the saloon, um, but I do think it feels very light, very open, very airy, especially with lighter wood. Um, practicality wise, over here you've got um, a fridge. You've got a nicely located fridge here, which is completely empty, but you've got a fridge there. You've also then got additional storage. So we've got good storage locker there. We've got some drawers there, and you've got the Bose DVD player and even more storage on the end. Um, there's a rise and fall television which is the original television here that's linked into the Bose 321 system. So all very adequate, but if you wanted to, you could potentially look at updating that TV to a smart TV. But it's very comfortable in here. We've still got the doors open. Seating section wise, we've got this really good size seating area here, looking at the TV we just looked at. You could easily seat four or five people on here quite comfortably, and it's very comfortable to sit on. We've then on the port side, up by the co-pilot seat, got another C section of seating which again, you can easily seat three or four people around. So there's adequate, more than adequate seating in the saloon for um, the guests that are gonna be on board. And if you are actually traveling on the passage while you're in this space, it's again, it's, I can imagine it's a very comfortable place to be. Um, the carpet itself is original. You don't know if you have to make out on the picture, but it again, as with the rest of the boat, is all in very good condition. You've got this lovely table here, which is probably a great morning coffee spot. 
behind that table itself there's actually an electric window so you've got an electric window on here port and starboard side which is really nice so you can let that natural sort of breeze come through or again if you're maneuvering it's nice to be able to talk to your crew or the dock master from from those windows up at the helm uh, which is, as you know, um, always a feature of our videos. Great layout, very princess, everything you'd possibly um, expect to have up here. And I keep going on about condition, condition, condition. And this is another area that has that in abundance. We've got a beautifully um, positioned wheel there, really luxurious wheel. And we've got that additional, like I said, port and starboard electric windows, which are operated down here on the switchgear here. The boat itself has got bow and stern thrusters. We've already mentioned that she's got Caterpillar engines, so she's got Caterpillar C18s. Nice control unit for the cats there. Um, you've got your start and start button down by your starboard side of the wheel as well. Engine ignitions. You've got a balanced stern thruster remote, which is just really nice to have when you're maneuvering. If you're coming in and you just need to be able to operate the balanced stern thrusters, not from either the location of the helm or, uh, downstairs or upstairs, you can use the remote, which is nice. Equipment wise, she's got more than adequate systems. So she's got the radar, which you may have spied in the videos, the open array radar. It's all for Uno, apart from these screens, which are Um So you've got the autopilot control unit central, and then you've got the tridators either side of that, all working perfectly well. And on the port side here, I've got a Furuno Navnet 3D, so it's a color plotter. Um, which all operates beautifully. You can see here we've got chartography on there and a couple of the waypoints that's been set in by the owners previously. Um, from an hour's perspective, she has done, excuse the noise, 301 hours. So she's done 301.8 on the port and 301.7 on the starboard. The um, only thing that probably has been updated here is a couple of years ago, the Simrad um, VHF. Uh, expired so the owners actually replaced the Simrad so it's an updated DSC Simrad um, both lower helm and upper helm which is really nice. Hopefully you'll get an idea of up here at the helm it's a beautiful location I've got good visibility forward there are four deck sun bathing cushions um, for the boat which I doubt have ever been used. The conditions of the linings in here which if you're looking at this video having looked at some boats you'll know it's often an issue I would say are all very good even forward underneath the screen where you do get that exposure to the UV. Um, and then you've got your um, little red light up there as well for your nighttime navigation, which is always quite nice to see. What I want to do now is just take you down to the cabin space and show you the layout of the cabins. It's a free cabin boat, so let's go down and have a look. Okay, so you join me down in the galley and we've come down that little flight of stairs there and we're right underneath the windscreen here so we've got lots of natural light into the galley. And the galley itself is a good layout, princess, you'd expect nothing less, but you've got a bin under the sink, you've got storage up here, over top lockers as well, so you've got glassware in there and even more storage in there. And there's lots of height here, you can get a sense probably of just how much space there is. You've got an extractor here above the hob and I think this is quite a cool cupboard in there as well so you've got the, cr um, the crockery in there. Um, good size sink and you'll see there the dehumidifier that I mentioned earlier one that's been running and then you've got a large um, double fridge freezer which is good access the obligatory um, couple of bottles of champers in there as you'd expect on any boat just in case of emergencies and then you've got the freezer underneath but it's a nice size galley um, for this size of boat and the amount of cruising slash entertaining you could do it's really nice to have that good fridge capacity. You've got a microwave combi oven underneath the hob there. It's all electric so the boat does have a generator so there's no need for gas so um, you've got like I say all electric there which is good. Okay so I've jumped up into the forward VIP cabin and as you'll see it's all very original. It's very calm, very light. Um, bed covers are all the original, all in beautiful condition. As I said earlier on in the video, I don't think the boat's probably ever been slept on more than a handful of times. You've got good storage in here, you've got hanging wardrobe space, you've got good sized portholes, both port and starboard to let lots of light through, and then also the deck head uh, light as well there. You've got a television in here, as with the television in the saloon, it's the original, so you could update it to a smart TV if you wanted to, but it feels a very, very comfortable cabin. You've also got unsweet access in here, so this cabin shares the access to the day heads. So as you'll see here, it's a really nice size for the boat, lots of room, and you've got that pull round shower cubicle with the WC in the, in the, in the um, sink there. So that operates both as your ensuite for your forward cabin and your day head. Okay, so we're down in the masterpiece and master cabin of this boat, if that makes sense. Um, as with a forward cabin, beautiful condition, very little if any use at all. You've got your original princess uh, bed linen and froze. You know, I like these little reading lights, very 
princess either side of the master bed. Um, it's a good size bed, I haven't measured it, but I would say it's bigger than a double, probably a king size. Um, we can confirm as needed but as with the rest of the boat it's all in very good condition we've got lots of storage in these boxes underneath both the port and starboard hull windows and then you've got good hanging space in here as well um, and then a couple of drawers either side of the bed as well okay so my head high here of course is slightly compromised because that's the saloon flooring upstairs but if i come that down to the foot of the bed here i've got brilliant head height i really have and i can walk all the way back here um, so it's easy to get around the bed super easy and it's um a very very nice size cabin for this size of boat it's hard to believe it's a 50 not a 54 here or 56 with a 50 foot boat so you've got this pocket door going into what is your ensuite which um, is actually again a very good size you've got a completely separate shower cubicle there as well a basin and a wc and then like i say you've got this little pocket door arrangement which is a, a very practical way of dealing with that door and it gives you nice access in and out of that space so let's just take a look at the third cabin on board this boat as you can see it's a bunk cabin but there is really good head height so as you come in this room i don't feel at all claustrophobic i've got lots of room to walk around lots of storage you've got storage here above the bed you've got storage behind the bed in this drop down locker here walking you know you can hang some life jacket safety kit in there and that's a really good size deep cupboard in there so it's a really clever really good layout and it'd certainly be a very comfortable cabin for either two adults or two children let's go from the lowest part of the boat to the highest part of the boat um, we'll just come back through that really nice galley back up these stairs here you can see they're really easy to navigate oh i haven't mentioned this uh, control panel so very princess beautifully laid out you've got all your um, 240 volt kit here your 12 and your 24 um, so it's all located on this board here and your battery isolators are here as well so you can see what's going on with the loadings domestic batteries here engine batteries and then water tank holding tank that type of stuff so it's all nicely located as you'd expect from a princess so we haven't dressed the whole flybridge today because of the weather conditions we're facing <laughs> bit breezy and we've had a few showers but you'll see that in our drone video but I wanted to show you just the condition of the helm which I didn't know if you'd get on the drone video. We have a helm on flybridge often an area gets neglected forgotten about and not looked after but on here it's you know it's it's in really nice condition you've got the leather bound steering wheel all this is normally covered up obviously we've just taken the cover off we've got repeaters from downstairs of the ST60s um, and the autopilot controller and then that, another one of the Fruno Navnets here up there as well. So it's in really good condition. Even the buttons here, which often fail, are all still together and looking good. Great visibility from up here when mooring um, or on cruises, um, when you're looking for lobster pots, that type of thing. So it's a really good location to be. You've got a bimini top up here. So um, if you wanted to escape the sun, you've got a bimini. I doubt it's ever been used, but it has got a bimini top. No teak flooring up here, but it's quite nice just to have the white non-slip from the factory. I'm in the engine room on board this Princess 50 and as I mentioned, she's got a Caterpillar C12s. They're on straight shafts, you can see, um, so there's no V-drives on here. Engine room, as you'd expect for age of boat, I would say it's in very good condition. Overall, there's nothing I can see that's scary. 715 horsepower, in, horsepower each. Um, so they really do push the boat along nicely. Top speed of over 30 knots on board this boat, but economical, efficient cruising, um, certainly sort of probably 20, late teens, 20 knots, maybe even a bit quicker. Um, you've also got down here, I like to see these twin uh, glass bowl fuel system. I um, often see this on Princesses, which is really nice, which gives you the ability to switch over on those pre-filters for your fuel. And then you've got your gen set down here as well. And then lots of your other systems in here. You'll see behind me, I've got fire extinguishers. It's all lagged with um, uh, sand insulation. And then you've got your fuel tanks out, port and starboard side. So the typical princess, great quality and um, a very sensibly laid out space in here. So let's um, finish this video sat here in the aft cockpit. I think you'll agree with me. This really does tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Three cabins, the midships cabin in beautiful condition. It's very rare that we get a boat like this that we can present to the market that is in such good condition and that we've known for so long. So I would just say, if you are interested, please see our contact details below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We really do appreciate all of our latest subscribers. We're growing the channel as best we can, We're getting you lots of new content. Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.